Hey guys, today I was out and about and when I got home I saw that I had some mail. So I looked in my mailbox, homegirl got a package. So this is an unboxing, these are my first ever opinions or seeing of Makeup Geek shadows. I have Makeup Geek pigments, but these are some shadows and mostly influenced from Sam from Battle Lash. You guys are going to hear me talking about her a lot because I'm just mildly obsessed, just mildly. Check her channel out, and if you do, please tell her I sent you. But I'm gonna do an unboxing on camera. It won't be like super long or anything like that because I wanna show you like my first impressions, my real first impressions. And I also got a gel liner, so let's just get started. You see all these little packs full of the eyeshadows that I ordered. So first off, I got a Z palette to put all of the Makeup Geek shadows in. This apparently holds 15 shadows. So of course I got 15 shadows. So first I pick up Makeup Geek Peach, I don't have to say Makeup Geek, because these are all Makeup Geek. First I picked up Peach Smoothie. This is a peachy brown. Great explanation. Idiot, I'm an idiot. Apparently that's like an amazing transition color. Then I picked up a very similar eyeshadow to the Peach Smoothie, which is called Beaches and Cream. This one's a little bit more muted, a little less peachy. Then I got creme brulee. All these look really similar, but when I show them to you in the Z palette at the end, they won't. So this one is a little bit more brown than the other two. I mean, like I told you, there are a lot of neutral colors, but there's some fun ones coming up. Then I got mocha, which is just this really pretty dark brown color. Um, I thought that would be a really good crease color. And they're really blendable, as you can tell. It doesn't look like it's pigmented, but they're both very pigmented. Then 100%, of course, I had to pick up Cocoa Bear, which is like their signature color that everyone is obsessed with. And this is a very warm toned brown that you can see is very pigmented. Well, it's hard to see that it is very pigmented, but it really is. And um, so that's that color there. Then I got Preppy, which is a more yellow toned brown. And I bought this one, I think it was Battle Lash. I think it was Sam from Battle Lash who said that this one um, was a really good uh, transition shade as well. So I picked up that one. This is Hipster. It's sort of a cooler toned, sh like slightly shimmery brown color. That's what it looks like swatched. I'm almost done with the browns, guys, I promise. Then I got Latte, which is also another brown. Cool, right? I know. That's the color of that brown. They're all different though. When you see them next to each other, you'll see that they're all so different. Like, see? Like that's a latte. You can see they all, they're all gonna be really complementary to each other though. Okay, that's it for all the browns. Now I'm gonna go on to some black. And so I got the black, which is called Corrupt. And apparently from what I've heard, this is a very black black. So I guess let's see. Oh yeah, very black black. That's what it looks like there. Black enough to where it won't come off my finger. Then I got the color Bitten. This color is is a recommendation from Sam from Battle Lash. Is everything in my life is revolved around her at the moment. It is this maroon. It's like a dark maroon color and it is matte. I got mostly mattes because I find, and as you'll find too if you buy a lot of the palettes, like if you buy Naked One and Naked Two, they're like 90% shimmers, and it's really beautiful, but you can't create a full eye look with that without it looking kind of meh. So that's why I got a lot of these colors that are matte, so that I can kind of fill in the blanks where I don't have it. This is the color Stealth, and it's just a matte dark gray, really pretty. This is a new Makeup Geek color, and it's called Pop Culture. Sorry, I'm flipping you off. Eh, fuck you. But it's a really pretty iridescent shimmery purple that's sort of like Makeup Geek Wisteria, but shimmery? That's really, really pretty though. Then I got the color Shark Bait, which is a really beautiful teal color. Really like that. I'm gonna do some badass makeup looks with that one. Then I got this color. I could not say no to this color when I saw it online. It's called Peacock. Let's watch it. So pretty. Oh my gosh. That is like the most beautiful color. It's like such a, like a navy, I can't even explain it. Like turquoise color. It's so hard to explain, but super gorgeous. And the last color that I picked up is called Neptune. 
And oh dear God, you guys are gonna die. Look at that color. In person, it's like bam, in your face. So I'm gonna be able to create some really pretty colors with this. All I can say is yes, so far. So these are the colors that I got. I got it in the Z palette here. This um, you can get from the Makeup Geek site as well. And um, all you would need to do is just buy the amount of eyeshadows per, or you can just, they, they um, are magnetic so they just stick in there. I also picked up the Immortal Gel Eyeliner because I've heard nothing but good things that this is one of the blackest gel liners on the market. Let's see here. It's really soft. Yeah, it's super duper black and it comes in this little glass pot here. Last but not least, the Makeup Geek Bent Liner Brush. This is good for doing winged eyeliner, apparently. Um, it's very stiff now. Obviously, I need to wash it before I use it. Um, but um, I got this for the black gel eyeliner, so it's like a bent shape. Can you guys see that? I've heard nothing but good things about these two, so I guess we'll see. And that's pretty much everything I got, you guys. So I'm not working with Makeup Geek. I bought this stuff all by myself. I would love to work with Makeup Geek, though. That would be amazing. Um, but I just have always wanted to try their shadows, so I wanted to get sort of the staple shadows that everyone is always talking about. I mean, because obviously, Coco Bear, that's the one, Corrupt, and all of these ones, Peach Smoothie, all those. So I'm excited. I accidentally bought an extra Peach Smoothie and I didn't mean to. But that's it, guys. Uh, that was just a quick, really impromptu, but I wanted to show you the shadows I got. And what this means is that you'll be seeing a lot of really, really awesome makeup looks coming up soon. Hopefully, um, I do notice that my makeup tutorials get a lot less views than my other videos and that kind of what that tells me is that you guys don't like them as much, but please let me know if you guys do. Um, please also go check out my Instagram if you want to see really high quality up close photos with lots of information on which products are used, then go there and you can see like this look here I post. I'm posting a picture, a high quality, nice makeup photo every single day now. And you can go check it out and I um, put all the information of which brands I'm using in the description of the picture. So go check those out, you guys. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me, then subscribe. If not, well, then don't. And if you guys want to go check out my Instagram, well, head on over there. It's at RobbieTheChristie. And I would love it if you would follow me on Instagram. And uh, I'm a lot... I keep in contact a lot more with Instagram. If you ask me a question there, it's a lot more easy for me to answer than just coming on YouTube. So... If you guys have a favorite Makeup Geek shadow that you've ever tried, please let me know in the comments. Um, I would love to try them. I feel like I got a lot of the colors that they offer. I mean, obviously I got a lot of the neutrals, but I am definitely all into trying different types. So I hope to talk to you guys soon, and I will see you at my next video. Bye.